three, four months ago, we had twin eggs here. Hopefully when I tap it, it will break open a little bit and it won't explode because I've seen that happen before. Wow, this is this is this is really, really not oof. You all right, Benny? All right, all right, all right. All right, you guys, welcome back to the ranch. Welcome back to Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. You guys just saw, this is my boy, Benny. He loves all the attention. He, like, he hauls and he hauls every single day when a car goes by and people come into the driveway. It's really, really awesome. Look at his face. Yeah? 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 You having fun, buddy? Yeah, the upper lip. If you guys are new here to Blake's Exotic Adam Ranch, I am Blake. I'm the owner of the ranch here at in somewhere in South Florida. But if you guys are new here, make sure you subscribe right now and put those post notifications on because there's always something different something happening and there's always i don't even know different animals here on the ranch all the freaking time but um benny's right here that's rocky lures is over there we have max over there we have jerry over there just in this little uh, square property right here we have like 15 animals it's absolutely insane here all the time but you guys probably clicked on today's video today to find out what we were dissecting or what we were cutting at the ranch today if you guys were following me on blake exotic and ranch way way back then probably around know, three four months ago we had twin eggs here. Redfoot tortoise had two eggs, one egg, and it was conjoined eggs. And um, they were doing really, really good at the beginning for the first couple weeks, and then just went downhill. I guess they weren't fertile. I think they looked good, but then, then they went bad. But um, yeah, so we have these twin eggs. They're inside the incubator. I always have eggs in the incubator, and I don't like to take the eggs out just in case they are fertile. I leave them in there for a few months without any problems. If they start smelling bad or they obviously explode, I take them out. But this one has starting to look really, really dark. And it is now pretty much giving me all the signs that it is rotten. But let's see if there's a tortoise inside of there. Let's see what it looks like inside. Whenever I have rotten eggs here, I always like to open them up. But I never showed you guys through the lens on footage what happens with these eggs. When you break them an egg, all the stuff that's inside it explodes and it's smells really really bad so we're probably gonna have some very interesting faces here and it is absolutely disgusting but what we're gonna do first is we are gonna walk that way or that way I'm gonna go show you a few things before we get to the garage because my sister's in there doing some stuff inside the garage right now with a couple friends so once they're done we're gonna walk over there and I'm gonna show you this egg we're gonna dissect this egg so let's walk around this way real quick all right, you guys, so we're going to walk over here real quick. If you guys have not seen the video yet, we moved some of my exotic animals here on the ranch, and they went to another part of the property. If you guys didn't see that video, make sure you check it out. Obviously, it was the capybaras, you guys, and we moved the capybaras from their quarantine area into a new part of the property, into the Brazil area. And stay tuned, you guys. A lot of new little, like, little gigs, dingy mabobbers, whatever is going to get changed around here, like new gates, new fences. We're trying to make things a lot nicer and cleaner. We got a bunch of big gates inside of the barn that are going to be getting pushed out here very, very soon. And in the gator cage with Louie and the two caimans, they'll be coming over here very, very soon too as well. So put those post notifications on you guys. But let's walk over here and I'm going to show you how the cappies are doing. Oh, look, the peacock we rescued. She has not left. She, um, her foot, she's starting to put weight on it. She's getting better. What she does is she sleeps up top on these things here at night to stay away from any predators even though there's really no predators here at the ranch at this moment so that is very very good but um she's doing good look at her you right, missy she hops around pretty good without a problem and she gets fed she gets clean water and she's happy so that's an a1 right there but uh let's walk over here real quick and i'm going to show you how thing one and thing two are doing so now that the capybaras are gone from this section right here what we're going to do now is i'm going to start landscaping this area a little bit more and probably going to move a species of turtle inside of that section right there very very soon so stay tuned always new updates and projects happening here on the ranch all the time missy where you at your missy's right there all right where is thing one and where's thing two there they are they're at the wall all the way in the back i don't know if you guys can see them the grass is very very tall but they absolutely love it they're doing really really good and they're coming around the corner right now 
You might see them right in that little hole right there. See? You need some grass over there. But they're doing absolutely great. So right over here, there are some really, really tall weeds and stuff. I cut them down so we have a better visual spot right here. And I put, that's their food bowl here. So my plan is, is when I come down this way with friends and family, I call their names and they come running and they eat right here out of my hands. We can feed them right here if people don't want to go inside of the enclosures with them. This morning, without a doubt, early morning, they know they get fed. Everybody gets fed. And they came right here and they're eating right out of my hands. They got their fresh uh, greens right there. And then, and they were doing great. But um, capybaras are doing really, really awesome. Look at them. That back corner over there. Far back corner. They were just jumping up. Ready? One, two, and they didn't do it. There he goes. Maybe not. They're just exploring. Whatever. Let's go see this egg, you guys, and let's go cut it open and see what happens and what we find inside. All right, you guys. So it is time to figure out what was inside of these twin eggs right here. So the dates were 2, 9, 19. So how many months is that? What month are we in? So we're grabbing this egg right here and we marked the date as 2 9 19 so that's a little over almost four to five months right now and um yeah these eggs they didn't explode anything of that but just from the look of it they're very very dark there's really probably no life in here at all i know there's no life in here and it is smelling really 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 bad and i'm kind of nervous to break it because i feel like it's going to pop and it's going to really be nasty but i want to show you guys that the twin eggs did not survive unfortunately and that does happen sometimes i know a few people that have hatched them out with no problem at all but probably what happened was that the female that laid this one this clutch right here because the rest of them were bad as well was an infertile clutch which happens every once in a while but um whatever there's nothing you can do about it that's the part of mother nature and the red fuzz didn't want to courtship the right way and make babies it didn't happen but we got a pretty awesome twin egg right here so what i'm going to do is you can't really cut an egg, obviously, you guys know that. So I'm going to just tap it, right? And I'm going to tap it like a freaking nut. So when you tap it, it's going to crack. And hopefully when I tap it, it will break open a little bit. And it won't explode because I've seen that happen before. So hopefully it doesn't do that. I've seen them, but when they're not heavy, when the egg's not heavy, they're really, really light. And when they're really, really light, when you tap it, it literally pops really, really loud. Like all the gas is right there. But this one is probably going to be very, really yellow inside. Maybe there was a tortoise forming inside of it. I'm not too sure, but you and I are about to find out right now. So, hold your breath, Dylan. Yep. It's gonna smell nice. So, um, I don't know. You want to left side, right side, left side, right side? I don't freaking know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start cooking right here. All right, well, it's pretty, it's pretty solid. It's like a woodpecker over here. All right, well, you see you're chipping it up right there. So there's a couple layers of the egg. So while I'm hitting it like this, right? It's breaking the top layer of the egg, all the calcium and everything that's on it. And now as I see, there's a little hole right there. So I can start chipping at it to see what's inside of it. There you go. All right, so there's liquid in it. And that's the first sign right there that it's freaking bad. So um, yeah, so let's keep on cutting. Oh! Yeah, it's rotten as heck. Oof, I get, I can smell it already. All right, so I'm gonna break it more for you guys. Wow, it's bad. You guys can smell this right now, you would not like it. You good, Dylan? Yeah. You're gonna throw up? Yeah. All right. So look right here, you guys. That right there is one complete rotten egg. I'm gonna, what happened, bro? <laughs> you smelling bad? So, this thing is disgusting obviously there's nothing in here at all so what i'm thinking i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna leave it just like that and try not to spill any of the guts in out of there wow wow this is this is this is really that's really rough Not oof that was a all right all right so i'm gonna break this side and see if there's like maybe it's like more like um what's that called solid on this side But let's see if it's just liquid on this side as well. Uh-oh. Trying to be very careful that I don't get any on my hands because it's almost lunchtime. And I'm not going to be able to eat lunch if I have this on my hands.
Look at this, we already got flies coming in. Look at this, we got flies coming in twice. Yeah, it's, look at that, flies. That's how bad the smell is. The horse flies and the flies are already coming in. Look at that, you guys. So that is 100,000% one rotten, disgusting egg. Wow. So, leave that right there. Let's walk away for a second. So unfortunately, you guys, that egg obviously was not good at all. It is absolutely disgusting. It did not blow up on us, so that is a plus one right there. Plus two is that we have two rotten eggs right here, and now we need to dispose of that so that it doesn't stink up my whole house because rotten eggs are disgusting. But um, yeah, wow, that is strong. If you guys enjoyed this video a little bit, make sure you give me this video a thumbs up. Something different here. We decided to look what happened to this twin eggs right here because a lot of people are asking me if they're hatching. They didn't hatch, this and that sort. Ain't nothing coming out of that egg except gook and nasty stuff. Rotten slime. So, what I think I'm going to do now is I don't even want to dump that stuff. I'm going to get a plastic bag, wrap it up really, really well, and throw it in the garbage. Thank goodness garbage is coming tomorrow. So that's going to be a very, very plus one right there. But, um, yeah, something different here on the ranch today. A rotten egg. Let's see. Um, wow, that's absolutely disgusting. I don't even know what to do with that. That is disgusting. Want to make some scrambled eggs? No. I think you'll <laughs> die. Um, yeah, let me get a bag and I'm going to throw this thing away, you guys. We got some brown bags right here. We have some napkins. I'm going to get the napkins and... Throw it all in here and dispose of this rotten egg, you guys. But um, it was nice knowing you, buddy. Hopefully in the future, put those posts on. Let egg laying season for some species is coming very, very soon. And it might be really, really awesome to see if we get the ability or possibility to get another twin eggs that we can hatch them here on the ranch. Like I said earlier, I know a bunch of tortoise breeders of me personally that have had this happen. I'm choking. That is... <laughs> that I've had... Hatch out twin eggs without a problem. But like I said, it wasn't that it was me that did it wrong. It was that these eggs were infertile because some of the same clutch were all bad from that whole thing. So that mother was probably just infertile from that clutch this time of the year, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. I'm going to stop talking now and I'm going to grab this egg and get this thing out of here because it is reeking up my whole driveway. So let's do this. I'm going to say goodbye to this beautiful nastiness right there. And um, I'm gonna drop that over there. Drop that there. That is disgusting. And bye bye, buddy. Oof. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Goodbye, buddy. Have a nice life. That was incredible. <laughs> that smell, you do not wanna smell that. So let's toss her in there. And I'm gonna give you guys a post notification shout out somewhere far away from this location because it is absolutely disgusting. All right, you guys, so we got away from those nasty twin eggs over there. We disposed of those eggs and I didn't even touch the nasty part and the egg still smells in my hands. I'm gonna have to like bleach my hands. All right, I mean, no. But for today's post notification shout out is going to Ella. She says, love your vids, keep up the good work and I love watching your videos because of all your animals. I appreciate it, Ella. If you guys want to get a chance to get shout out on Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch, put a positive comment down below. Also, you guys, in the description right now, I have a P.O. box that you guys could check out and you guys can send me all different types of art, notes, whatever you guys want to have. I have a P.O. box and it's going to be in the description as well so you guys could check that out and I will be able to show you guys what you guys send me through videos and things of that sort. And then I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys in an upcoming video, you guys. Peace out, everybody.